Wrestling too. Unbelievable. Bogey. You alright, man? Yeah. Listen, you guys saw the video. This is cool. And there's no jokes. Maybe the wrestler he can get physical. But you know what? I can get on Facebook and I can do my own physicality. I can make some signs and make him look bad. Make him feel bad. Don't mess around with someone who's not a wrestler like that. But that's okay. Let's do that to the few. Few, we're strong. You might think we're a few, but we're magnitude fans of fanatics. We can break you down, bring you down. You got, you don't know what you just did. You're done. This is Captain Bogey saying, "Not said." Somebody that I want to kick his butt. Okay, stay away from me. Stay away from me. Okay. I was not with you. Okay, okay. I'm, okay. Then 
Why do you wear a mask? Why well, wear a mask? Why well, I should not wear a mask? Why? You think I, I wear a mask because I want to? There's something behind it. I don't want nobody to know who I am because what I do, I like it. What do you want to accomplish being here on the field? What I want to accomplish being here on the field? Simple. Let know everybody out there, okay, that I waiting for somebody to walk in this place that I can beat them off because it's a... Gentlemen, children of all ages, and wrestling fanatics, welcome to The Few Show on 247miami.tv. So this episode is number seven and is called Behind the Mask with my guest, The Black Mask. He will be here, going to give you a little story behind him and a special appearance by The Fuse. The Rock! Yes, he will be here live. Today is July 30th, 2016. We are live. I am your host, Captain Bogey. Running the controls of the few show is 24-7 Lou. What's up, 24-7 Lou? Hey, what's up? What's up? Here? I'm off camera again. I don't know why. Why am I going to be on camera? I know. Off camera again, but hey, at least we got back in here, right? Yeah, we're back in a new right, studio. studio. Not the what? A different studio now. Yeah, actually, yes. Welcome to the new studio. So, you know, we kind of upgraded a little bit. As you can see, this is the actual skyline of Miami. That is a big window there, guys. Yeah, that's my house that's over how, there. That's how we do it here. And behind the scenes is our stage manager, Jay Fuel. Get in the house, baby. So, Jay Fuel, we got everything under control? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you for that answer. And our set de designer, D Nightmare, hooking it up here. And we're going to talk about this little matchup here very soon. So, we are in the underground, somewhere in the 305. Our location is more secret than Iron Mountain. Iron Mountain 24-7. Do you know where that is? No idea what you're referencing. Well, listen, <laughs> that is the world's official archive. It's in a huge mountain somewhere, 20 stories below. It's home to some of the world's most priceless treasures. There's eight security guards holding AR-15s. Fortune 500 companies store databases there. Major banks back up their information there. Even the few has a little locker with the videos of our first six episodes because it's, it's priceless. So, it can even survive a nuclear terrorist attack more than once. So, Iron Mountain. But the only thing that Iron Mountain doesn't know is the location of 24-7 Miami Studios. That's an even higher secret. All right. So, the only way I would agree to have the black mask on is for him and his henchmen to travel in a car with no windows because there is no way I'm going to have the black mask know the secret location of 24-7 Miami Studios. I think we had like double security <clears throat> in this case. And actually, you guys notice that our secret, uh, secret, our security is enhanced today. Well, I do have a security guard in front of the camera and behind the camera. Yeah, I don't have one. I don't have one. You don't have one? Let me get a D Nightmare. He will help you out. I'm safe. All right. So now, in the pre-show, which was hosted by D Nightmare, and he did a great job, the Black Mask and his henchmen jumped Josue Melendez, president of X Wrestling, as he was coming to visit our studio. Now, 
Well, hold on, guys. I have an update. Okay. Uh, Josue Melendez is being rushed to a medical facility here in 24-7 Miami Studios. He has some minor injuries, but uh, we'll give you an update during the show. All right. Well, originally this episode was supposed to air July 16th, but due to security concerns, we canceled and rescheduled twice. Because here at the Fuse Show, we wanted to feel safe enough, being that the Black Mask was coming with his henchmen. Now, if you see, we have, again, extra security. I have 24-hour temporary restraining order against the black mask. And uh, this was, I got this yesterday at 5 p.m. So, it sh it'll end today at 5 p.m., but we should be done with the show by then. All right, so, to find out everything you need about the Fuse Show, go to Facebook, search us on, type in The Fuse Show, and go ahead and click like, guys. We need that support. All right. So, quick disclaimer, we are the few fanatics enjoying wrestling. We're a passionate group of our wrestling fans. If you're a wrestling fan, you will appreciate this show. And if you're not, we will entertain you. What is that? Uh, I was trying to Cesaro, sorry. <laughs> so, we don't claim to be experts in Miami wrestling, but we do claim to be passionate. You can't take that away from us. The Fuse resume of wrestling promotions that we have supported include You Know Pro, X Wrestling, CCW, Roman, D1PW, ICW, WXW, Brain Busters, Fuse Wrestling, and we just added one more on July 2nd. We were at Pro Wrestling Grand Prix. Yes, our resume keeps on going up. That's how much the Fuse supports. So bottom line is we're here to have fun. Disclaimer, done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've been waiting for weeks on this. I have my special appearance of the Fuse, The Rock. So, Rocky, please come in. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. How are you, sir? How you doing, Bogey? It's good to be here. Finally, The Rock has come down to the Fuse Show. Captain Bogey, that was how awesome. you doing? I am doing... And it doesn't matter how you're doing. For The Rock says, know your role, and shut your mouth. Yes. For The Rock, lay at the smackdown all over your candy ass. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, jabroni. Wow. I can't believe that I just got trash talked by The Rock. This is a moment. Thank you so much for that. So, let's go ahead and give a little statistics here. Measuring at six foot five, weighing in at, who cares, it's pure muscle. With nicknames... Flex Cavana, Rocky Maivia, the most electrifying man in all of entertainment. The Rock has had over 457 matches and has appeared in over 79 pay-per-views. That's a lot of experience there. Wrestler, actor, producer, and most importantly, member of the few. Yes. So, welcome to the show, Rock. I really appreciate you being here. Good to be here. Here in my own hometown of Miami. Yes, it is. So, let's go ahead and begin with the questions. So, Rock, what have you been doing lately? Well, lately, The Rock's been enjoying the success of his latest hit movie, Central Intelligence, with his co-star, Kevin Hart. And the movie's been a big hit domestically and internationally, all because of yours truly, The People's Champ. The most Rocky, electrifying man Rocky, in sports entertainment. Rocky, 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 the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. He emits electricity. The Rock is genetically electrifying. He emits the electricity 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, wow. including leap year, jabroni. That's amazing. I, you know, I'm 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 dumbfounded that, that we have you here on the show. Let's go to our next question. What do you think about the Miami area wrestling scene? Well, when The Rock isn't busy making movies, he likes to take a couple of weeks off by relaxing at home, nice. watch his little TV, catches up with the latest WWE shenanigans, and even attend a couple of local wrestling shows here in Miami. I know awesome. there's a couple of independent wrestling promotions. Yeah. Uh, the Rock likes X Wrestling, Brain Buster Wrestling, uh, Fighting Evolution Wrestling. Okay. Yeah. And when you say you, when you watch a little TV and you're what, 70 inch? HD TV probably? Uh, 75 inch. Oh, my fault. 4K. 4K HD. All right. So, who in your opinion are the three best wrestlers in the Miami area wrestling scene that you think you can go one on one with the great one? Yeah, well, I had to throw it in there. <laughs> 
Well, there's a couple of guys that are pretty entertaining, but they're still just a bunch of jabronis to The Rock. If The Rock was to ever step back in the ring, you would witness The Rock go through them all from Max Stardom with all of his Ooh. little Mickey Mouse tattoos. You would witness The Rock in the ring Sorry, tattoo man. some little tattoo on Max Stardom's candy ass. And then on to Johnny Vandal. You would see The Rock go through Johnny Vandal Johnny. like x lax goes through his fat-ass mama. Oh, my God. And then on to JB Cool. The Rock would go through JB Cool. Cool. A nothing, a nobody, a peon to The Rock. And then on to Sean Prime. Six feet, 250 plus pounds of steaming, stinking monkey crap to The Rock. <laughs> After The Rock's pitched out all these jabronis, you're going to realize exactly why The Rock's without a shadow of doubt the most electrifying wrestler you have ever seen, and why they call him the People's Champion. If you smell what the Rock, what the Rock is cooking. Wow! Holy energies! I think we just got extra electricity here. So it's been a pleasure having you in the studio. Do you have any last words for the fanatics of the Few Show? I just want to thank all my fans out there for supporting The Rock. The Rock loves you. And I want to give a special shout out to my good friend, Gabriel Colon. He takes care of The Rock's championship belts. He shines them up real nice. And that indeed helps The Rock look good on TV and in personal appearances. Well, Rock, again, I am. Uh, it's amazing that you're here. I really appreciate you coming. I know you probably got to go off and get on your uh, your Jet Lear plane and go to some Hollywood probably to do, go do another movie, right? Most definitely. All right. Well, there you guys have it. The Fuse, The Rock has been here. Thank you so much, Rocky. You have a great day. It's been a pleasure. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and end this segment. Uh, we are going to be going to segment two, so you guys stay tuned to The Fuse Show. Got Rocky on the show. Right. So guys, we are we are here in segment two of the few show. So we're gonna have some honorable mentions here. We're gonna talk about the uh, WWE Cruiserweight Classic, and why are we gonna talk about it? Because there's some wrestlers that we, the few, have seen live. So there are 32 participants representing 16 nations. So far they've had three episodes and they have a bracket. So we have a few of them uh, that, that we're going to mention right now. First we're going to go ahead and talk about Sean Maluda from WXW, Mineola, Florida. Maluda fought Kota Ibushi. Though Maluda did not advance, Maluda had an amazing match representing the Samoan dynasty from American Samoan. So the few sends congratulations to Maluda and can't wait to see what happens next. Great job, Sean Maluda. All right, the next wrestler that the few have seen live, Linz Dorado. He's been in promotions such as GSPW, FOW, SCW, and NWA. And for nine years in a row, he has been featured in the PWI 500, that Pro Wrestling Illustrated. So, that is amazing. Now, there are five alternate wrestlers that the WWE has uh, in case one of those original 32 get hurt. And the few know four out of those five. Let's go down the list. Johnny Vandal, yeah. representing the country of... Turkey. His wrestling style is te technical and high flying. Turkey. And he has been in Brain Busters, Uno Pro, FOW, D1PW, AWA, D1P. Oh, D1PW twice. All right. The he's been second twice. wrestler. Yes, he's that good. All right. So the second wrestler that we know out of the five is Mr. 450, Jesus Your Nets. He is representing Puerto Rico. And his wrestling style is technical, high flying, lucha libre. All right, the, four, the third one is Jerry, Jesse Sorensen. He's representing the USA. His wrestling style is technical. And the last wrestler out of those five alternates that we, the few, have seen live is Aaron Solo, representing the USA with wrestling tech style as a technical and high-flying. All right, the next honorable mention is going to be to E-R-A-K. 
Guys, he appeared on WWE Monday Night Raw, the June 27th episode. It was a tag team match against Enzo Amore and Big Cass. Hey, Era, great job. Love seeing you there. When you appeared, my son and I, Geo Master, we took a triple look at the screen and we couldn't believe that you were there. So here is the few sending a lot of positive energy your way. He has been ICW champion, Unipro, Unipro champion, WXW heavyweight champion, and many other titles that he's held. And the last honorable mention I'm going to uh, bring out here is with Rene Alfonso, a fanatic of Miami. He's a member of MFG and an honorary member of The Few. So what he did here, uh, this Miami fanatic wrote a great article that you need to see. It can be seen on icwmiami.com. It's about the state of wrestling here in Miami. It was very interesting. So you guys need to check that out. So good job, Renee, on that one. Okay, let's talk about future events. And we have quite a few of them. We are jam-packed here in Miami. Let's start with the first one. And this one is five hours away. Fight Night 7 from X Wrestling. We are going to have, they're going to have Lockjaw versus Justin Overstreet, New Blood Rising versus the Guadalupes, and Team Classic versus Calevra and Marks, and a lot of other matches that you need to be there to see. Next one is future event for CCW Coastal Championship Wrestling, second annual Uncle Jesse Tupac Memorial Cup. Battle Royal. That's going to be August 6th in Coral Springs. It's going to feature Scotty Tuhati, Santos, Stefan Guadalupe, Ricardo Rodriguez, New Blood Rising, and many more. Next one, ICW. They're going to have Thunder Rumble, August 12th. The return of Era. Finally, he's coming back. He's going to be versus Mike Monroe for the ICW Championship. No joke. All right, so, uh, and also another match, Eli Vega versus Sean Prime and many, many more. Next one is Few Wrestling, Fighting Evolution Wrestling. That one is going to be, is titled Few Wrestling versus Impact Wrestling. Well, August 19th, this will be in Clewistown. I learned the last time, JB Cool, Clewistown. Uh, you're going to have Teddy Long, JB Cool, Ace Mayhem, and many, many more wrestlers tna tna yeah tna 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 the next one here these are three promotions that are coming out on the same night Ooh. but you guys have to do this to fanatics all right the first one this is all on august 27th x wrestling fight night eight on august 27th brain busters pro wrestling august 27th this one that one is called summer meltdown now, in the final match, there's going to be Craig Classic versus Johnny Vandal. And that match is called Last Man Standard for full ownership of the company. Ooh. What Craig Classic did in the last match of Brain Busters. And then the third one that's also August 27th is Lucha Loco. 24-7 Lou. You guys have heard of Lucha Loco? Never heard of it. First time. Yeah. Uh, August 27th. They're going to be in Fort Lauderdale. And uh, some of the wrestlers I saw on the flyer, JB Cool, Angel Rose, Mr. 450, and quite a few other ones. So, again, a promotions. You got to make it easy for us. We love right. going to it. So, where's this one at? Okay, this one's going to, uh, Lucha Loco is going to be in Fort Lauderdale. Brain Buster is <coughs> going to be in Hollywood. And X Wrestling, Miami. Wow. Tough. Busy night for wow. wrestling in South Florida. Yes. All right. And the last one is Ronin with Ronin 12, September 3rd in Pembroke Pines, Florida. Yeah. All right. Forget legends. Yes. Legends. Uh, how much time we got, buddy? Three minutes. All right. Three minutes. Rich, come on down. So we're going to go ahead and get a quick recap here with what occurred in X Wrestling Fight Night 6. It's going to be what is titled the Vince Hannity's Fight Night 6 3 Minute Squash Report. And to give that is Richard Tingle. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, how y'all doing? Woo! All right, Tingle. Tingle, 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 Tingle. A real American. How y'all doing tonight? Absolutely. You know what? You said it. Four events are happening on August 27th. I can't believe it. You had the legends 
uh, over at Marlin Stadium. Don't forget that. Just five minutes down the road from that is X Wrestling. X Wrestling all the way back in April. Hey, man, we put the date out there first. Yeah, why would they Three do that Three other to us? places jumped on it. I don't know what to tell yes. you. Yes, X Wrestling did put it out first. That is correct, and that is a fact. The calendar was out there. Anyways, we know what's going to happen tonight. It's going to be incredible tonight, July 30th at the Polish American Club. X Wrestling, it's going to be hours away. something else. If you think it's hot in Miami... Just wait till you go to the Polish American Club tonight. It's going to be even you hotter. Be ready. All right. So this is a three-minute report. He says it's three minutes. I read it. It's about five minutes. So I'm going to do my best to try to condense it a little bit. Try to make it a two-minute squash report instead. My <laughs> apologies to Vince Hannity. Vince Hannity, if you haven't heard him, he's the play-by-play -play guy for X Wrestling. This guy is phenomenal. He knows every move. He calls it as he sees it, and he is the best person on the oh, mic. Next to me. You are pretty good, buddy. All right. So, Fight Night 6 started with an international flavor as Paris's Mark Sabre debuted pinning just in the professional overstreet in 9 minutes and 11 seconds. It was a great way to get the match started. Mm -hmm. uh, good match. Great way to start the night. Then we saw the Demolition Squad, Zach Cooper, face off against Mattias Cage. Mattias Cage is one of the guys we're going to be seeing tonight with Zach Cooper in a three-way match. And if I can't remember the guy's name, it's Brackus, I believe, is going to be the third man tonight. So we're going to see kind of a sort of rematch of that one. Oh, yeah, they're all big. All these guys are big. <laughs> third match was a tag team, act, uh, tag team action between the South Beach Young Guns, Adrian Marks and Julian Culever. They took on Tragic City. Unfortunately, Tragic City, uh, Mosey Kamau. Got injured. He took a dive out there. I'm not sure if you guys saw it last time. He yes. smacked his head, hurt himself pretty good. His bad. ankle between the head. It was something else. You know what? Young South Beach Young Guns, they took advantage of it. They both teamed up on Barrington Hughes. They got the surprise victory on that. So that was something else. Best wishes to Tragic City. Those guys are great. Mosey, a phenomenal athlete. I really enjoyed seeing him. So I hope this guy gets better. Thank we you, see Mosey, him for fast. doing what you do. Absolutely. So then... We have the Florida champion, Max Stardom, the Florida inherited champion. Max Stardom came out, talked about how, unfortunately, his opponent wasn't there for the night. So they got a special challenger, Stefan Guadalupe. Mm -hmm. Guadalupe. So they set that up for later some, on some, in the night. Some call them guacamole. I don't, I don't know. Salsa. Oh. <laughs> or salsa. The salsa king. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Okay, I'll remember that for next time. Guacamole. So in the fourth match of the evening, it was Stefan's brother, Julio Guadalupe, facing off against Mega Tiger. And in six minutes, Julio scored the victory on that one. Then the fans were treated to a triple threat hardcore match as Zach Monstar took on Damian James and Neurosis in a match that, that believe it or not, they didn't have any weapons. You would think hardcore between yeah. those guys, but no. There was a lot of brawling, a lot of slugging and fighting, but they kept it simple. In 11 minutes and 45 seconds, Zach Monster got it. And Zach Monster, scary guy. We keep on talking about him in all the episodes. And bloody, why? C uh, can you find out for us he why is, he comes out bloody? He, he's bloody before the match even starts. If you ever notice, he comes out. He looks like a butcher, for God's sakes. Yes, he does. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. but <laughs> I wouldn't buy meat from him. Oh, it was something else. After that, Rachel Freeman <laughs> came out. Alex Todd came out said he was going to defend the honor of Angel Rose, who couldn't be there tonight. Yes. So he came out, and he wrestled Rachel Freeman. Can he tried. you believe that? He tried, yes. Oh, he gave the best shot he could, but Rachel Freeman... She, if you guys haven't seen her, this woman is incredible. She can talk smack and she can swing it also. Yeah. Freeman, 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 Freeman. Rachel Freeman, she won the match. Beat Alex Todd. Goes to show you what White Knights do for you then. Yeah. Huh? And she has a look. <laughs> oh, she's a looker, all right. Then New Blood Rising came out. New Blood yeah. Rising scored the pin in 10 minutes, 40 nice. seconds. Going NBR, up against NBR, NBR, the team, NBR, the, classic, the classic tag team. Those guys were great. They had good drop kicks. Yes. A lot of tagging in and out. Tag team specialists going back kind of like what the Rockers used to be in a roundabout way. And we're going to be seeing the team classic again tonight. And New Blood Rising going against the Guadalupe brothers in a tag title match. The gold is on the line tonight. Wow. Absolutely. And exciting. finally, the main event between the five-star superstar, Matt Stardom. Max. Something else. This guy... Not pinned yet. Not submitted in 2016. He is a fighting champion. And Vince Hannity yes. says it all the time. A fighting champion. We saw him go against Stefan Guadalupe. And it was a great match. And in the end, Max Stardom did come out the winner in that one. Yes, he is consistent in that. And we have seen him for quite a few years. So, All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much again, Richard Tingle, for giving us that report. And guys, uh, this set is the end of the second segment, so you guys stay tuned for the fusion.
Oh! Once again. All right. So, here is the moment that we've been waiting for for quite a few weeks. And we mentioned why we had to cancel and reschedule because security was not what it should have been until today. You scared? So this segment is sponsored by X Wrestling. This segment is the F5 match. So shout out to Tanya and Josue, which I hope is doing well. You can see X Wrestling once a month at the famous Polish American Club, located at 1250 Northwest 22nd Avenue, Miami, Florida. For more information about X Wrestling, go to their website, www.xwrestling.miami. So remember, X Wrestling Fight Night 7 is tonight. It's just four hours away. Make sure you guys get there. So here is my, and call him special guest, out of respect for the viewers. This segment is Captain Bogey versus the Black Mask in a F5 match. You're asking yourself, what is an F5 match? The F5 match is the few, fast, five, fanatic, face-off. All right, so we're going to go head-to-head -head in this F5 match. I'm going to ask the questions no one dares to ask. And Black Mask will need to have an answer. So let's go to the tail of the tape. I, Captain Bogey, measuring at six feet tall, weighing in at 200 plus sexy pounds, hailing from NYC, Miami, wrestling promotion, The Few Show. Finishing move, the F5. Gotcha. I have been quoted as saying, for Christmas, I will get John Cena glasses with strong prescription because I'm tired of him telling me you can't see me while well, I'm looking right at him. So, this segment is versus the Black Mask. Name unknown. Prefers to be called Black Mask. His resume, manager at X Wrestling. Height and weight, he did not want to reveal that to us. Accomplishments, he created Black Mask Inc. Proud to create chaos in X Wrestling. His most famous quote, I will kick the ass of anyone that gets in my way without even lifting a finger. You got that too. For more information about the Black Mask and his campaign of chaos, you can find them on Facebook at www.com backslash the Black Mask. So, in this segment, we will get to know the Black Mask. <clears throat> Question number one. How long have you been in the wrestling business and what is the history of the Black Mask? I've been long in the business. Approximately 20 years. The history in the Black Mask. You don't want to know. You don't want to bring that up. Okay. The only thing I can tell you is a lot of people been on the hospital. Really? Yeah. Okay. By your doing or you no sent matters. others? No matters. Whatever comes, comes. You step on my way, I take you down. Just want to give a little bit of history just so uh, you guys understand what's going on here. Uh, the Black Mass made his uh, first appearance in X Wrestling January 30th, Fight Night 1. And uh, he did what he needed to do. Kept everything in the ring. Then he came... February 27th and beat your ass February 27th and uh, for fight night 2 he um, asked one of his goons to grab me Ooh. from the crowd Ooh. just because I was saying whatever I was saying as a fan and uh, I got jumped you think that was cool? you just Ooh. got what you're supposed to get so if you feel any tension here you understand why. Question number two. <laughs> Out of all famous wrestling managers in history, Bobby Heenan, Paul Bearer, Jimmy Hart, Fred Blassie, uh, Abu Dhabi. Don't say Birmingham. Bobby the Brain Heenan. Congratulations. Brain. Okay. Like I am. So Brain. So who's your favorite manager of all time? Bobby the Brain Heenan. And why? Why? He knew how to do things. <laughs> He complied with everything, and when he desired to do something, he finished it. 
<laughs> like you comply? I do. Grabbing fans? Well, grabbing grab whoever gets in the middle. Interesting. Uh, question three, what's, what has been the highlight so far in the career of the Black Mask? Beating you. That was one of the best ones. Really? That was one of the best ones. They can say and they can see and I'm not playing. You miss with me, if you're a fan, you're going to have it. I don't have no mercy for nobody. You see these guys here? Ooh. They're working with me. They're good. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We can boo anything you want. When they come over, you will see the boo they go. They do a lot of boo on top of you. You got it? Well, let me tell you this. You could be proud that uh, the only wrestling promotion that has had a fan get jumped has been X Wrestling because of you. You know what? X Wrestling, I'm ready to burn it down. Ooh. I'm ready to burn it down. We'll see. Hmm. Question number four. Who are the top five wrestlers of all time that you enjoy? I was Kane, The Undertaker. Wow, evil. Yeah. Uh -huh. Evil, evil. Uh -huh. Go ahead. What uh -huh. else? Well, uh, we can have another evil there that we can throw inside. Um, what used to be back in the days in Puerto Rico, Barraba. That was a good one. Yeah. Real bad guy? You know, well, everybody knows. Everybody knows that they follow the Puerto Rican wrestling. Yeah, okay. you know. Evil guy? Yeah. No, no, not, not evil. He just, he just do the same thing that I do. You mess with me, you pay the price. So you don't do evil is what you're trying to say? I don't do evil. You get it. You mess with me, you paying it. Okay? Hmm. I'm dead the giant. Remember when Hogan went, back, went on our side and then he cowered and went back in? You know? Mm. Things like that is, that's, that's the problem that bunch of wrestlers has okay so evil bad that's, what that's the like. only you thing know. that's what it is that's what it's not evil it's just people that want to you know mess it up with us and we just mess with them question number five what is the purpose of creating black mask you think Inc? that was cool <laughs> that's a question that you want me to reveal and i never the seen these guys whoa Where that's the thing you don't see it you remember that? Where you started it? Now you can see who I am. I don't need to move. I got the people to do the job. Yeah, I noticed that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of segment three. And just stay tuned for the few show. <laughs> uh, usual. Um... Part of the reason is because of the... You're afraid of here. me. That's why. Because you're afraid of me? That's why you are so serious now? Because you know I'm not a joke. Oh, I can see that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You All feel you it. do is you this, yeah, that's and it. everybody done. else does the work for you. Now you're walking with security and everything now? That's scary you are. Jesus Christ. Well, just to let you know, I do have this restraining order. And I had to get it yesterday. This is a temporary one for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So because uh, that was coming, good. Yes, <laughs> because you were going to be here, and I wanted to make sure that not only the livelihood of myself, but the rest of the crew of 24/7 Miami Studios were going to be safe. And yes, I did get a security guard. Does that make you scared? <laughs> this is my security people, bro. I don't scare. I know. Black that. mask, let it out there. I'm not scared to no one. Ooh. Got me? All right. We're going to go ahead and continue the segment four. Some additional questions. Now let's go ahead and get to the nitty gritty of this. Hmm? I've seen Puerto Rican hot dog many times on X Wrestling. But on February 27th, he seemed different. Why did you order him to attack me? Let's go ahead and just put it out hmm. on the table. Let's well, reveal. Hot dog is a good guy. Not that night. Well, that's up to you. Something it happened. was good for me. He had something in his eyes. Something changed him. So why did you send him to attack me? Just me being around hot dog. He feel. He felt what I, what I have on me. And guess what? Money talks. You know with the rest. So. Thank you for the answer, which was no answer. That's the way. 
Uh, what's your goal in X Wrestling? My goal of X Wrestling? Yeah. Do you know the owner? That little mousy chick? Josue Melendez is his name. What? Jose J. What? Josue. Well, I would like to see him in front of me again. And every time he come in front of me, in front of me, I will put him down. Because he doesn't know how to run business. So just like half an hour ago when, when the pre-show of the feud was going on, <laughs> you snap fingers. That's all you do. Exactly. Exactly. Josue Melendez, we need you to do something about this. Josue. Oh, 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 nah. You can do nothing. Josue. You can do nothing. Josue. Question number three. <laughs> you were using an innocent fanatic named Howard to hide you. You would use his social media to spread your hate. So what made you to finally let go of him? Thank goodness you did. Why? He's no, 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 he's no no good for me no more it's no good for me no more what i gonna keep a person that doesn't do nothing for me no more i see and it's simple he was doing what i want him to do he got paid what he's supposed to get paid and that's it garbage interesting he is a life he is a person you know that. what oh he's just a person and that he's i a friend a friend of who mine well you see that's what i have to throw him away Garbage steal with the garbage. Mm, thank you. Name calling. Okay. Uh, how many uh, henchmen do you have in organization of Black Mask Inc.? Well, you can see on the PO and the pre-show, I had three with me. Yeah. And because situation of this place, the few. Okay. Few, few, few. I have few, 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 few. I send the other state uh, outside. Just watch. I don't want nobody coming in to rock me because I don't want no problem. I come in peace this time. Don't push it. Peace. Don't you call it. bringing them peace? Yes. Uh, you think they're doing something? They're not doing nothing. They're just standing behind me. Simple. You stand there, you got another one. You got what? Well, you brought a him there. Because of your peace. Bro, I why? had to get this. They're not doing nothing. And you I had see? to make sure that the rest of everyone here on my studio was going to be safe. They are safe. They are safe. They're not going to do nothing. They are safe. The only one I want is you know who it is. You see, feel me now? Who? You feel me? Let me know. Uh, you on the list. You are on the list, really? Captain Bogey. You are on the list. Just let me finish with one, and then I take you off. But if you want to do this now, it's up to you. So, uh, what will we find if we go on your Facebook page of The Black Mask? What do you have on there? Well, I have nice things. I have videos. <laughs> me beating you. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You funny. got... Jose Melendez getting slammed. And that's funny. Oh, yeah. But, oh, that's they it. miss with me. Don't miss with me. I'm not doing nothing. I just walk into it. You open your mouth. You open... You, stay saying, you start saying things that you're not supposed to be saying. And you get punished. Simple. Okay. Um, so, uh... Tonight, you're going to be in X Wrestling. Uh, mm -hmm. What kind of role is it that you're going to be playing? And um, You want to see what I'm playing? Be there. Be there. I'm going to be just... there. Same spot that I was at. Yeah, nice. I don't have to look for you. I don't hide. I know where you are. I don't hide. I hope he's coming with you, too. I don't know. Oh, he'll be there. Oh, okay. Because I know bogey, they'll be there. Bogey. 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 What do you want to do? You want to do it now? Oh. So, because I'm not a wrestler, so you're going to challenge I'm me not, again. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're not a wrestler. At least you got a big belly. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you. I'm proud of you. House. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that you do. I know. Notice. They feature good. Well, I guess you've been looking at me. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh, that. well, you're not my type either. <laughs> All right. So, here we are in um, the segment for shout outs. We have a few shout outs going to. Soy Fabulous, Geo Master, Rhino, Papa Few, 
24-7 Lou, Bruce, the Ruff of Refs, Adrian Dudliness, Joey Canizaro from Joey, Minus Joey, 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 Joey. for helping us spread the word, Francisco, my brother-in-law, John from Amp Pro Wrestling, Brian Cardona from Hollywood, the prodigy, J-Dog Brooks. What, what's going on here? Hey, guys. Hey, stop that. Hey. We don't fix that. Hey, what do you got to do? Hey, tell you what. Hey, tell you what. No, no, no. We're not doing it.